Would modern age military skills be useful during the Crusades? Modern era Western company, with plenty of combat experience in Iraq and Afghanistan, is magically transported from East Syria into the newly founded Kingdom of Jerusalem, right after the First Crusade. Their clothes, weapons and equipment are replaced with age-appropriate items, such as swords, spears, horses and chain mail, left with only 300 knights and 2,000 foot soldiers. Godfrey of Bouillard promptly admits the newcomers into his army, would modern era skills and tactics would be of any use in fighting the Seljuks, Saracens and Byzantines, no modern age technology is available nor it could be introduced, language barrier is handwaved, modern troops don't have experience in medieval weaponry, with few exceptions. A few could ride horses, as they come from farm families who owned horses. A few could use bows, as they have hunting experience. And a few could use swords, due to exposure to certain martial arts. The rest will have to learn, my story tends toward comedic effects, something like the visitors in reverse. No. Modern soldiers are trained and equipped to modern warfare. They are next to useless for ancient warfare. At best, they wouldn't be better than any other piece of flesh to make for cannon fodder and more probably than not they would be a dead weight to get rid of at the first opportunity. Even handwaving the language problems that would render them completely useless, no knowledge they could gather with them is going to be useful or directly applicable. I think most answers in this post are overly optimistic, minimizing or ignoring the hurdles any modern person would have surviving in a harsh war campaign such as the Crusades were. Also, it seems that we are overestimating the value of knowledge of basic theory without realizing the vast, often impassable distance between theory and practice, and especially how much of these knowledge and technology relies on layers and layers of other knowledge and technologies which wouldn't be disposable. Summarizing some of the supposed advantages of our modern soldiers in alphabetical order, digging latrines, was known by the Assyrian army, some 2,000 years before the Crusades. Every army that has existed has dug latrines when camping, if only because they didn't want to smell shit while eating. Discipline, they'll find theirs is not superior to that of the rest of the army. Particularly, being trapped deep inside enemy territory does wonders to prevent desertions. Encryption, ciphers had been used in warfare for at least as long as warfare was conducted by more than one attacking unit at a time. Crusaders knew encryption and used ciphered communications if necessary. Sure, our methods are harder to break, but since the ones they were using were also probably unbreakable by the enemy, it doesn't add any security, only longer cipher times. Field sanitation and hygiene, same as logistics. One thing is to know and another one is to apply. So you know medicine? Okay, but what do you do without antibiotics, sterilized equipment, clean tools? You do what you can, in less than ideal conditions. Just like their doctors did. If you read Noah Gordon's The Physician, you'll see that most first aid and wound treatments were already known back then. 99% of modern medicine won't be available to the modern doctors, nor easily produced by then on the field. But they will know for sure the wounded are going to die. Logistics, modern soldiers may know everything that can be known about logistics. It won't improve Godfrey of Billen's resources in the least. What good is to know how many lorries would it take to transport two armored divisions from Haifa to Baghdad if it's not going to increase the amount of camels and donkeys that you have? You don't have to go back in time to the Crusades, just send your soldiers to Ethiopia and make them work with the Ethiopian budget of defense and see what they can achieve with that. Without the unlimited funds and resources of the U.S. Army, logistics knowledge is worthless. Logistics wins wars, no doubt about it. Having. Logistics wins wars, that is, not knowing about logistics. You can reasonably assume that the Crusaders' leaders managed their logistics the best that could be done in those times. Psyops, the Crusaders have very limited to no method to reach the enemy's population, so hardly they could try anything like that. The only psyop known at those times was initiating a siege. Then the population besieged could be targeted for psyops. Reading maps, maps weren't invented yesterday. The Crusaders also knew how to read them. They can't improve their quality or precision, so they don't add anything to what the Crusaders already had. Superior training, not really. Surely modern soldiers are better at boxing or judo, even they may know something about knife fighting in a nightclub, but fighting a lightly armored opponent with a scimitar, no, they really don't know shit about it. Survival skills, will cost them their lives. In modern warfare, under enemy fire you look for cover. In ancient times if you break the line because the enemy is shooting arrows at you you are hang for cowardice. Survival skills at those times meant putting a stiff upper lip and praying the arrow hits your shield or your comrades. 
Urban warfare, there wasn't any. Whenever an army entered a city the battle was over. What came then was pillage and rape, but there's absolutely no need for urban warfare no legged. Nobody will be waiting at home with an AK-47 and two Molotov cocktails. And so on. All of this summarizes why modern soldiers wouldn't be any better than ancient soldiers. Now for a few reasons on why they would be probably much worse. Overgrown, our modern soldiers are used to a 1,500 to 2,500 kilo calories per day diet. Crusaders will do with a little less than 1,000, which will render our modern soldiers weak, dehydrated, tired and utterly demoralized in a few days. An army marches on his stomach, Napoleon said, but their stomachs are too big for the frugal necessities of the day. Sluggish, it's beautiful to know much about hygiene, but what do you do without water purification pills? Boiling water is out of the question, not enough boilers, not enough fuel, not enough time. By the time you have boiled water for the whole camp a day has passed and you have to start boiling water again. You are stuck. You don't have any options but drink and pray, and our chlorinated water used stomachs won't resist as much as the tougher drink or die naturals of the time. Same thing for food in a time with no cans, no vacuum bags, no freezers and no pasteurization at all.